in this question we are given three sets set a set b and set c and we are also given that a union b is equals to a union c and a intersection b is equal to a intersection c and we have to show that sets b and c are equal now before we proceed to solution i want to highlight some important concepts first thing when two sets are equal that means that every element on first set is also present in the second set in this case we have a union b equals to a union c a union b is a set a union c is also a set so every element that is present in a union b will also be present in a union c similarly a intersection c is also a set and a intersection sorry a intersection b is a set and a intersection c is also a set so any element that is present in a intersection b will also be present in a intersection c and second if we have to prove that two sets are equal that is done by proving that first set is subset of second set and second set is subset of first set so let's move on to proving this question so first we have to identify what is given we are given a union b is equals to a union c and a intersection b is equals to a intersection c and we need to prove b equals to c and whenever we need to prove the two sets are equal we do this in two steps first we prove that b is subset of c and second we prove c is subset of b so this proof will be two steps so now let's proceed to our first step that is b is subset of c now we know that to prove that a set is subset of another set is equivalent to proving if x belongs to b then it should belong to c also so we say that let's say there is some element x that belongs to b say x belongs to b now using given facts that is a union b is equals to a union c and a intersection b is equals to a intersection c and other non facts we have to show that x belongs to c also now we know that x belongs to b but we have no idea about whether x belongs to a or not and in the final proving statement we are not given a so there can be two cases case 1 x belongs to a or there may be a case x does not belong to a because we don't know anything about presence of x in a and we cannot assume whether it is present or not so we have to consider both the cases and we have to prove for both the cases that if x belongs to b irrespective of whether x belongs to a or not it will be in c so in first case x belongs to b and x belongs to a now if an element x is present in both set a and set b we can conclude from that that x will be present in a intersection b that's what intersection means now because i am given if x belongs to a intersection b then it will be in 
A intersection C also. Why I can say that is because we know that A intersection B is equal to A intersection C. So this is because A intersection B is equals to A intersection C. Now if X belongs to A intersection C then it has to be present in both A and C. So from this I can conclude X will be an element of C. So if X belongs to B and in first case X also belongs to A then X will belong to C. Now in second case X belongs to B but it does not belong to A. But if it does not belong to A and belongs to B then I can say X belongs to A union B because for union the element has to be present in any one of the sets and because X is present in B we can say X will belong to A union B. From this I can conclude X will belong to A union C because A union C is equals to A union B. Now if X belongs to A union C it has to be present either in A or C and we know that X is not there in A so it has to be there in C so X belongs to C. So for both the cases when X is there in A or not A we have shown that if X belongs to B then it has to be there in C also. So from this we can conclude that if X is present in B then X is present in C also which is equivalent to saying B is subset of C. Next we will prove the second statement that is C is subset of B which is equivalent to saying if X belongs to C then X belongs to B. So let's say there is some element X which belongs to C. Again we will have to consider two cases because we don't know whether X is there in A or not. So case 1 let's say this time call it case 3 X belongs to A and case 4 X does not belong to A. Now in case 3 X belongs to C and X belongs to A then we can conclude that X will belong to A intersection C. That we can conclude X will belong to A intersection B and this we can say because A intersection B is equals to A intersection C and from this we can conclude that X will be in B also because it belongs to A intersection B so it has to be there in both A and B so it is there in B. The case 4 when X does not belong to A but X belongs to C then we can conclude X will belong to A union C because for union the element has to present, be present in any one of the sets. From this we can conclude X will belong to A union B but here X is not there in A so it has to be there in B. So in both case 3 and case 4 we have shown that if X belongs to C then X will also belong to B which is equivalent to saying C subset of B. So in first and second we have proved that B is subset of A, B is subset of C and C is subset of B. So that means B will be equals to C and Q E D.